hands or hair? You have to choose what your soulmate can control. Hmm. I'll choose hands. No, he could do weird things with his hands. Okay, I'll choose hair then. Hey guys! Brianna, what happened to your hair? You need to look at this. <laughs> I look like Cindy Lou Who. Why would you do your hair like that? It's my soulmate. He's allowed to control my hair. Aw, Brianna, your hair looks so cute today. I look ridiculous. Why can't my soulmate choose a normal hairstyle for once? Brianna, you need to take your hair out. It's distracting to the rest of the class. I can't take it out. My soulmate chose it. All right, then. Come with me to the principal's office. Principal Stevens, this student refuses to take her hair out, even when it's distracting the rest of the class. Wow, that's a really nice hairstyle. Sissy! Oh, no. Ellie? Sissy! Ellie! Did they lock you in the cabinet? Hurry, I'm losing oxygen. No, this better be the one. Ellie! I'm so glad you found me. It was so scary. They took me and hid me in the cabinet. This game is sick. Brianna, why do you look so down today? My little sister was chosen to be hidden this morning. I almost didn't find her in time. How about we make a pact? Pinky promised that if either of us gets hidden, we'll find each other. Pinky promised. It's your turn to be hidden. It's your turn to hide. Get in there. Lock me. Help! Help! I was chosen to play hide and seek. Please, someone find me! Help! I don't have much time left. Help! Jake! Did you call my name? Jake, you found me. Of course I did. I promise you. I can't believe they locked you in a locker. It was awful. Well, it's a good thing I found you in time. You're the best. Girl, there you are. I was wondering what happened to you. You weren't in class. I got chosen to play hide and seek. Luckily, Jake was there to save me. Hey, it was nothing. I'll catch you later. Catch you later, Jake. Wait! You dropped this. What's my superpower? A snowflake? I wonder what that means. Hey, girl! Brr, it's freezing in here. Are you not cold? No, I'm not cold at all. I'm actually quite warm, actually. Brianna, you feel like ice. I'm freezing. I gotta get out of here. Bestie, wait! No. You threw ice at me. How could you do that? I'm sorry. It's my superpower. I don't know how to control it. You need to leave immediately. You've covered the whole school in snow and ice. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I don't know how to control my superpower. You froze the teacher. Wait. I'm sorry. I really need to get through. I'm turning the whole school into the land of Elsa, and I really don't want to freeze you. Here, put these on. It will help you to conceal your power. Mom, what's on my face? Oh no, you got an X. You need to cover it and put a check mark right away or else they're going to get you. Who? Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You got a check mark. I've located an X. Please don't do this. <coughs> Everyone report immediately for your symbol check. So, what happens if you have an X? Those with Xs are eliminated to stop overpopulation. You're only safe if you have a check mark. Next, please. I'm next. Don't worry. You have a check mark. You'll be fine. You're good. Next. I said next. Are you crazy? What are you doing here? Why would you go online knowing you have an ex? I thought maybe I wouldn't get caught. Of course you would get caught. Who are you? You have an ex too? So, where are you taking me? This is the ex's hiding spot. I made it my personal duty to protect all exes. You can you have all exes? Excuse me, miss. May I sit here? Yes, of course you can. Why would she have an ex? She's just a baby. The exes were given at random. No reason and no sense. Oh no, they found us. We have to leave immediately. Your Majesty, we found this peasant running around holding this sign begging for more words. What a pity. A wordless beggar. Feed him to the dogs. <laughs> Your Majesty, please, help my family. You only had six words left, and you wasted them on me. How pathetic. Your Majesty, you have infinity words, and the townspeople are really struggling. You could give them all words, and you'd still have infinity. 
And why would I do that? I run a palace, not a charity. You are one evil, evil queen. Who are you? Reveal yourself immediately. You don't deserve all those words. <laughs> Guards, a witch stole my words. Where'd she go? Give me your words. Immediately. I'm sorry, your majesty. I cannot. Hello, queen. You'd like to sell this crown? Too bad. I won't buy from you. These are real diamonds and gold. Yes, but you're a selfish queen and you don't deserve any more words. Sorry, your majesty. I'll clean everything up quickly. Give me your words immediately. I'm sorry, but I don't have much to give. Guards, chop off her head. I've never seen you this quiet before. Word thief. Don't worry, I gave your words to someone more deserving. That servant girl? She's safe and she has infinity words now. I'm sorry, your majesty. I'll clean everything up quickly. Give me your words immediately. I'm sorry, but I don't have much to give. Guards, chop off her head. What? Get over here. <laughs> Hello, darling. This is for you. In infinity words? They'll be back. Come quickly. I'd like to sell these diamonds. You're trying to scam me. These diamonds are fake. I'll buy those from you. Really? Why would you do that? Is 1,000 words okay? Yes, please. Servant girl. Her Majesty. Look, I'll give you words, as many as you want. All I ask is that you promise to be kind to me. Take this. Your crown? Take over as queen. To me! Look at these stickers, they're going... <coughs> to me! Brianna! You killed Timmy, you can never wink. It's for population control, it kills people! I didn't know! Wink killer! Hey! You're the one who killed my little brother Timmy ten years ago. I'm going to get revenge. You better watch your back. Watch yours first. Oh no! Emma! She fell to the floor! Somebody help! Get the nurse! Nurse, is Emma going to be alright? No, she's not breathing. It's tragic. I can't believe Emma passed away. I know, it's so sad. Did they say what the cause of death was? They figured the only way she could die so suddenly is from winking. Really? Yeah, and you were the only one around Emma at that time. That means you're the... My soulmate's accent is American? That's so boring. But I might. Your soulmate's accent is Australian? And yours is... British! It's British! You didn't sound like you were speaking in a British accent earlier. Well, I was, um, pip pip cheerio. Class, we have a new exchange student. He's from Britain. Hello. Brianna, didn't you say your soulmate's from Britain? Aw, that must be your soulmate. I heard your soulmate's accent's from Britain. Mm -hmm. That's great because mine's from Canada. You must be my soulmate then. Yeah, maybe. Chad, you're late. Class, we have another exchange student from America. Yo, what's up, my dudes? I'm so cold. Here, let me check your temperature. So, what is it? Uh, 100 degrees, just like your father and I. That's perfect, because today we're getting put in our demon categories based on our body temperature. Wait, don't go yet! Alright everyone, fall in line. It's time to check your temperatures. Those with temperatures under 1000 degrees are considered weak. Those over 1000 are considered strong. Next in line, please. 33.6. You're not a demon. <laughs> If I'm not a demon, then what am I? If you really are a demon, then you can burn this piece of paper. Even the weakest of demons can do it. I can't do it. What is she? I know what you are. A temperature of 33 degrees can only mean one thing. You're a human. That's not possible. I've been a demon my whole life. Both my parents are demons. Why are my hands freezing? What's in my hands? Is that snow? Snow? Even worse than I thought. You're an angel. Everyone, set her on fire. No, no, no. Mom, I'm so cold. It's freezing in here. Quick, give me the thermometer. Just as I thought. It's at zero. Why is my hair turning white? 
Mom, I'm scared. Your transformation is almost complete. I have something to tell you. Both your dad and I are demons. But your biological father is an angel. Wanna come swim in my pool after school? Wow, you have a pool? My daddy owns an entire ocean. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Ow, you may kiss the bride. Brianna, did you finish your homework? Yep. You're lying. Um, I can't go to school. <laughs> Why lie if you know you're going to get caught? You're never going to be able to get a job when you're older if you have lots of marks. Whoa, you must have lied a lot. Yeah, I was a bit of a compulsive liar back when I was a kid, but I've been to therapy. I'm not like that anymore. I don't have any. Wow. Want to go on a date later? Sure. I can't believe you let a liar into this establishment. I'm not eating here. Ma'am, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You're making people uncomfortable. Whatever, let's go. This always happens. I used to have lots of marks like you. Want to know how to get rid of them? What'd you get? Yay! I got Angel! I knew it! That's great. If you got Demon, we'd have to disown you. Here, this is your badge. Keep it on at all times so people know that you're an Angel. Hey, Bree. You look really pretty today. Thanks, Derek. Why are you talking to him? He's a Demon. I know, but he's kind of sweet. Don't get any ideas about Derek. Angels and Demons are forbidden to be together. You'll be outcasted. Okay. Besides, Demons are players. He'll just take advantage of your pure heart. Hey, Bree. Hey, Derek. Wanna come over tonight? I don't know, I can't. Come on! Where's my badge? Oh, are you leaving so soon? Can you hurry up? I'm just looking for my badge. This must be it. Sorry I'm late, I just had a really crazy night last night. Why do you have a demon badge on? Is that Derek's badge? <gasps> Happy 17th birthday! Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dad. Hurry, blow out the candle. I want to see what your future career path will be. You're going to be a what? Hey, Brianna. Let me know once you start your career. I'd love a dance. Do you give discounts for classmates? Oh, shut up, Kevin. It figures that you're going down that career path. I always knew you never had any self-respect. I do have self-respect. And so do other people in that career path. Hey, Carly. Are we still in for the movies after school? We can't be friends anymore. I'm sorry. What? I'm going to be a doctor when I'm older. I can't be seen with someone like you. Brianna, there's someone here to speak with you. Oh. Ooh, she's in trouble. You were given the wrong career by mistake. Your actual career is... Okay, class, did everyone receive their intelligence score? No way, she got a zero. <laughs> what are you doing? I need to work really hard and prove everyone wrong. Good morning, Donna. Here's your coffee. Thank you. How did she become a CEO when she has an intelligence score of zero? Catherine? Uh, yes, boss? You'll be in charge of coffee runs today. No way, seriously? Seriously. Come in. Hey, I was just thinking it'd be a better image for the company if you put your intelligence score to private. We wouldn't want people thinking an idiot runs this company, right? Let them think what they want to think. I know, but... You may be excused. All right, everyone, let's begin the meeting. It's so cool to have a CEO with an intelligence score of 100. What? I can't believe you have an intelligence score of 100. You are so cool. Look at this article. You're getting praised everywhere. You're the first person in the world to reach an intelligence score of 100. So now, because I have an intelligence score of 100, everyone all of a sudden expects me? Good morning, everyone. I'd like you all to meet our new hires. Are you serious? These are the new hires? Their intelligence scores are extremely low. Hey boss, why did you hire a bunch of new staff that are, well, to put it lightly, dimwits? Have you spoken to any of them? No. Well, then I would like to ask you to speak with one of them, and I can assure you the staff I hire are very intellectual. <laughs> oh my. Woo, party! Boss, all these dimwits you hired through a party and they're destroying the office. Ooh, this is so pretty. No, don't! What have I done? Whew. Well, I guess that makes sense. My soulmate wouldn't be hiding in my bedroom. It still hasn't gone up yet. Hi, Brianna. Derek, hi! Guess you're not my soulmate. What? Mom, I'm home from school. No way. My soulmate's near my house? 
Honey, your sister will be coming over with her new fiancé. You can finally meet him. That's great! <laughs> so loud! It's too loud in here! Hi, I'm Chad. It's great to finally meet you. Honey, come meet my new boyfriend, Harry. Hi, Harry. I'm so excited to meet you. How about I take you shopping so we can get to know each other? Sure, I'd love that. How was shopping? Great. Harry bought me lots of stuff. Bye, honey. Harry and I are leaving. Love you guys. Have a safe trip. I'll see you when you get back. Harry, you guys are back so early. Where's mom? I'm so sorry. She unfortunately passed away while on the trip. Thanks for helping me pack up her things. It's not a problem. Here, I'll take care of this. You go to the attic and get us some more boxes, okay? Okay. Now, where are those boxes? Mom? Breaking news, a new vaccine was created that cures all mental illnesses. What? No way. Finally, I can cure my OCD. Are you going to get the vaccine too? I mean, I guess. I'd really like to live without my anxiety. Hey, Emily, how is the vaccine? Good. It's your turn now to take it. I will. My appointment's tomorrow, so... Good. Next for the vaccine. Why is everyone acting weird? Hey, excuse me. Did you take the vaccine? I did. It's great. Don't worry. You're just having anxiety. You'll feel better after. Next. Next in line for the vaccine? I... I... I changed my mind. I don't want the vaccine anymore. The vaccine is mandatory. Take it. Take the vaccine. Take it. Take it. Take the vaccine. Still zero, of course. I'm an angel. Honey, I'd like you to meet my new boyfriend, John. Hi, John. It's nice to meet you. Mom, John's wanted level is a four. I can promise you he's not dangerous, and he makes me really happy. Honey, look! John sent me flowers. They're beautiful. You are not to speak to any man, ever. I was just saying hello to the neighbor. Ow! Let go of me! Mom, are you okay? Let me see. No, I'm fine. Hi, John. Where's your mother? She's not home right now, but she'll be back shortly, so come inside. What time is she going to be back? I don't really think it matters, John. Love apple or hate apple? Mom, what is this? You must choose between your love apple and your hate apple. The love apple tells you who loves you, and the hate apple will tell you who hates you. I'm choosing the hate apple. I need to know who my haters are. Here's your test back. You failed. An F again? I definitely deserve an A this time. You don't like me. No wonder you keep failing me. You're failing me on purpose. No, I'm failing you because you give the wrong answers. Babe, there you are. I missed you so much. I haven't seen you all day. <laughs> yeah, I miss you too. You hate me? We've been dating for over a year and you hate me? It's just, you're a little clingy and your face kind of looks like my ex who cheated on me. Well, we're over. I'm not going to be with someone who hates me. We've got a loser on the loose. I don't get it. Why do you hate me so much? Where did this kiss mark come from? Someone must have kissed your soulmate's cheek. Anything that touches your soulmate's face becomes permanent on yours. So you're saying a random girl's kiss mark is going to be on my face forever? It's really not coming off. Yeah, that's kind of how permanent works. I'm going to send him a message. Is that an angry face emoji? That'll be on his face forever. Not my problem. He should have thought about that before he kissed a girl who wasn't his soulmate. Brianna, you have something on your face. That must be from my soulmate. I think he's trying to tell me he's sorry. I should forgive him. What are you putting on your face now? It's my address. I'm going to put it on my face so my soulmate can find me. Shouldn't give him your address. You don't even know him. What if he's dangerous? Come on, it's my soulmate. You really think he'd be dangerous? <laughs> that must be my soulmate. Did you send your address to Mr. James? <gasps> that must be my soulmate. <laughs> Did you send your address to Mr. James? You made a big mistake. Your address is permanently on Mr. James' face. He will have to wear a mask from now on. 
I'm really sorry. I wasn't thinking. I just really wanted to meet my soulmate. If you try and contact him again, you'll pay. Yes, sir. Brianna, you got another mark on your face from your soulmate. Aw, oh, it's Hard Eyes. Did you meet him? No, some big scary guy came to my house saying, If you try to contact Mr. James, you'll pay. The Mr. James? Who? No one's ever seen Mr. James before, but allegedly he's the son of one of the most dangerous mafia bosses in the world. Brianna, look at your face. He must need help. What should I do? Nothing. It's dangerous. Come with me. A paintbrush or a bag of Cheetos? I want the Cheetos. No, you must choose the paintbrush. But I want the Cheetos. Just do as I say. Okay. All right, I have my paintbrush. Here, it's a magic paintbrush, so I'm going to need you to paint me lots of money. Honey, how is the painting going? Done. Here, Mother. Perfect. Now keep painting money. Mother, I'm exhausted. I've been painting money for hours. Too bad. Keep painting money. I can't do this anymore. I'm starving, and she's keeping all the money for herself. I know what to do next. Honey, did you paint Mommy lots of money? I painted you something extra special. Let me see. Nope. You painted a gun? I'm starving. Here, take our last $2 to the market and get us some food. I don't have the strength to walk to the market, and besides, $2 isn't enough to buy us a meal. Well, you need to try. Now go. I have $2. Can I? Get lost, beggar. Hi, I... No. Mother's going to be so upset with me. I'll give you two magic beans for two of those coins. Two little beans? But they're so small, that's not enough to feed us. They're magic beans. Deal. I'm starving. What did you bring? I brought magic beans. Let me see. <gasps> Those beans aren't big enough to feed an ant. What just happened? Ah! Why do you look like that? Good morning. Good morning. Here's your happy pill. Have a great day. Every day is a great day. Good morning. Good morning. Here's your happy pill. Hmm, I wonder. Did you take it? Yes! Have a great day. Every day is a great day. Everything's so gray. Hi, Bestie. Why aren't you smiling? Did you take your happy pill? How could someone be happy in this world? It's so gray and dark. What do you mean? It's so bright and beautiful. Look at the streets. It's covered in homeless people with no shelter or warmth. But look at them. They're happy. They're smiling. They're freezing and starving to death. Everything's getting darker and darker. We need an emergency happiness injection. Go team! I knew you would win, Jake. Of course I won. You were cheering me on. Look, it's Porky the Pig. Get it? Because you're fat? <laughs> My name's not Porky, it's Cynthia. Porky, I can smell your Big Mac scented sweat from over here. Stinky, funky, like, ew. Why are you so mean? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I so chubby? How did I gain so much weight in a day? Oh no, did you make someone insecure? You were born with a curse. If you make someone insecure, you'll get their insecurity. So you're saying I'm stuck like this? I'm ready for cheer. Brianna, you really let yourself go. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll lose weight in no time. Well, until you do, you can't cheer with us. Are you serious right now? <laughs> I'd like to audition for the cheer squad. Porky, you're skinny? I told you, my name's Cynthia. Wait, Cynthia, I should apologize. More bloopers. Don't do it. She said do this, not do that. I mean... I can smell your Big Mac scented sweat dripping off of you. It's disgusting. Stinky, funky, like, ill. Mommy, why did you... Still zero, of course. I'm an angel. Honey, I'd like you to meet my new boyfriend, John. Hi, John. It's nice to... Meet you. Mom, John's wanted level is a four. I can promise you he's not dangerous, and he makes me really happy. Honey, look! John sent me flowers. They're beautiful. You were not to speak to any man, ever. I was just saying hello to the neighbor. Ow, let go of me. Mom, are you okay? Let me see. No, I'm fine. 
Hi, John. Where's your mother? She's not home right now, but she'll be back shortly, so come inside. What time is she going to be back? I don't really think it matters, John. Wow, you look so beautiful today. Stop it, Johnny. Look at your hand, you got your mark. I got a pink mark. I'm going to be socially successful. Do you know what this means, Johnny? No. I'm going to be famous. All the famous celebrities have a pink mark, like Kylie Jenner or Ariana Grande. Did you get your mark yet? Hold on, I just need to finish this paper. Look at your hand, you got a blue mark. <gasps> blue? I'm going to be academically successful. Harvard, here I come. Harvard, here I come. Did you look to see if you got your mark yet? No, I haven't yet. What color did you get? I didn't see it. I got pink. Yay, we're twins. Yeah, I have to go. Can't believe it. I'm going to be a failure. Honey, come downstairs. I want to see your mark. There. It's covered. As far as anyone knows, I have a pink mark. What did you just do? I only need five more dollars to meet my soulmate. One million? Here. Take this five dollars. I'm never going to make enough to meet my soulmate anyways. Dude, did you hear? She needs one million dollars to meet her soulmate. She's going to be forever alone. Shh. Dude, she's looking this way. Hey, Brianna, you know if you're ever feeling lonely, you can always come and see me. Don't you have a soulmate waiting for you somewhere? Hey, Mom, how much money did you need to meet Dad? Only two dollars. Two dollars? I need one million. What? That's impossible. I wonder what my soulmate would have been like. Sorry. Sir, wait! You dropped this. Lottery ticket? Oh. My. Sorry. Sir, wait! You dropped this! Lottery ticket? Oh. My. I won the million! Here's your one million dollar check. Congratulations! Thank you so much! Oh, one million dollars. That's the guy who dropped the ticket! Sir, wait! Hi. You don't know me, but... You dropped your lottery ticket. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. No, you don't understand. It was the million dollar ticket. Wow, it really was the million dollar ticket. Here, take it. It was my fault for dropping it. The money's all yours. Are you sure about that? Actually, no, I'm not. Take me out on a date and we can call it even. <laughs> Why are you crying? I just found out that my boyfriend cheated on me. Here, you could use some love. Why are you such a weirdo, huh? Answer me! Just leave me alone! I hate everyone! Hey, are you okay? Please just go. Here, you could really use some love. Thank you. No one's ever given me love before. I love you, babe. I love you so much. I'm going to give you all of my love. Hey, I'm really sorry, but we need to break up. I like someone else. Yeah. But I gave you all my love. I'm running low on love. Could you lend me some? I can't. I have none left to give. Actually, could anyone lend me some love? Sorry, I'm already running low. I can't. I need it. So that's it. You're all just going to take my love and leave. Hey, could you be more gentle? Oh, sorry, Pencil. Pencil? You can talk? Yeah, of course I can, you little... No matter how much makeup you put on, you're always going to be ugly. Oh, you little... <laughs> Why won't you rip? You know, I really don't think this shade of pink is your color. Really? You think so? What color do you think would suit me best? Um, Brianna, are you talking to a lipstick? What? She was talking to me first. Mmm, gummy bear. No, no, please don't eat me. I have a waiting kiss at all. I'm sorry, Gummy Bear. I gotta do what I gotta do. No! No, no, Papa! Papa! You eat my dad! I'm going to drink your blood. Someone help me! Wow, the Vampire Clan is so cool. I know, don't worry. We're gonna get vampires for sure. <gasps> What's happening to my ears? A fairy? No way. All the popular kids are vampires. I can just hide my ears. There. As far as anyone knows, I'm a vampire. You got vampire too? I knew it. I did. <laughs> Do you smell that? 
fresh fairy blood. Yeah, I do smell it. I think it's coming from over there. Welcome to the vampire clan. Fairy blood. The smell is very close. Where's the fairy? It's coming from right over. It's you. Oh, wow. She can't move for 7,000 hours. That's a lot. Um, are you doing the robot right now? Yeah. You're not supposed to move. Oh, no, I forgot. So, what's this timer for? I don't know. It's probably a timer until they come and execute you for moving. Seriously? All because I did the robot? What are you eating? Raw onions. I want to eat my favorite meal before I go. And your favorite meal is chopped up raw onions? Don't knock it until you try it. There's only one minute left. I love you, Bestie. You're the best friend that I could ever have. I love you. Don't go, Bestie. <laughs> It's at zero. This is it. It's over. Nothing's happened yet. Maybe you're safe. Oh no.